In my blog, last minute cheat sheet for GCP PCA exam, I list four decision trees to help you to choose the right services for the questions in the exam. Today, let's work through the third one, Cloud Load Balancers Decision Tree. What is a load balancer? A load balancer distributes the user traffic across multiple instances of your applications. Use a single IP address to serve as the front end and auto scaling the back end to serve traffic. It is also integrated with Cloud CDN for cached content delivery. It allows you to set up the backend traffic subject to firewall rules. Google provides the following cloud load balancing options. Global load balancing for when your applications are available across the world. Regional load balancing for when your applications are available in a single region. External load balancing for when your users reach your applications from the internet. Internal load balancing for when your clients are inside of Google Cloud. Cloud load balancing supports HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, and UDP traffic. Let's take a look at this summarized GCP Cloud Load Balancer Types table, including whether the load balancer uses an internal or an external IP address, whether the load balance is regional or global, and supported pass-through or proxy-based load balance, balancing and traffic types. So you can set up global load balancing on HTTP, HTTPS, SSL proxy, and TCP proxy. TCP UDP traffic is always set up with the pass-through regional based load balancing no matter the traffic comes from external or internal. Based on the summary table, now let's move to the decision tree. The decision tree divides the load balancing into external and internal. Then based on the traffic type, your load balancers must handle and the questions related to such as SSL offload, global load balancing and preserved client IPs to determine which load balance should choose for your application. So the decision tree will help you to choose exactly what you need from cloud load balancers. Please check out my other decision trees videos and my blog for more help. Please subscribe to my channel for more great cloud learning tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.